The pros and cons of climate change are being debated around the state. It follows the release of the Federal Government's Climate Commission report into the impacts and potentially the opportunities in Tasmania. The Commission says the science is irrefutable that the atmosphere is warming and there will be increasingly extreme weather events. It's found in Tasmania coastal waters are warming up to four times faster than the global average, bringing more pests and threatening the state's $500 million aquaculture industry. Hydro's viability would be compromised by declining rainfall in the catchments and it could be catastrophic for the fragile alpine regions as they dry out. So we could see whole scar wiping out of, of species and ecosystems uh, as, as fire becomes more frequent and more intense in, in places that are simply not adapted for it. But there could be some benefits too. With moderate temperature rises, fewer people will succumb to cold winters. A wider variety of wine grapes could be grown and increased rainfall in the northeast could expand agriculture. Look at those aspects of Tasmanian society agriculture which are temperature limited by cold temperature. Uh, and when you do use that filter, then you may see areas that may benefit for several decades. The Commission says with atmospheric temperatures creeping up, this is the critical decade for action. The real debate needs to move on uh, to what are the risks of this and how best can we get this situation under control. It's a point the Climate Commission's sure to push at public meetings in Hobart and Launceston. Catherine Grant, ABC News.